Hey guys, this is your daily Intel summary of the afternoon, Tuesday, uh, May 14th. We're praying the RV is this week. Please subscribe, hit the like so that my content gets out. Um, so listen, uh, confidential sources, um, I couldn't click on the links, but here's the summary from everybody else. And then I'll tell you a little bit about what we're going to discuss for my members on the Zoom tomorrow at 11. Um, so I am having to rehydrate guys. I just got done with the horses. We've been gone all afternoon. It was a great training session with them and I was very excited. I had a breakthrough with my horse Valentine. So thank you for all your prayers. Um, walking stick. There will be a primary video, a spearhead video. The videos will be with the head of the private banks, the governor of the central bank of Iraq, the whole of the board members, the government of Iraq, Sudani himself, the minister of planning, the minister of finance, the minister of oil. It will encompass all of the government of Iraq of Sudani because the government of Iraq encompasses the entire executive branch. These videos will explain to the Iraqi citizens the process of the monetary reform and where it is at that moment. We all know how, depending on what you believe, you have been coached and told over time what a process could be, right? They're doing the same thing with their citizens about economic reform, the banking system, all of that has to be implemented with the people. Um, it's, and it says there, this was continued. The first part of this was ever since Sudani came back from Washington, DC, the government of Iraq has been in the process of making videos, commercials, advertising. Sudani has been doing this on behalf of the executive level, all the private banks. These videos will soon be released and shown on Iraqi television and the big screens. Sudani and the government of Iraq are making these videos with the executive branch of each bank to teach the Iraqi citizens about the new national currency and the process of the new exchange rate, much like we're hearing about here for those people who are hearing about, you know, maybe a gold backed currency once again, although we have no evidence of that, right? In fact, tomorrow I'm going to talk about this huge package I just got. I'm going to go through it and we're going to talk about it tomorrow on the Zoom because I'm free to talk about it there, things that I'm not able to talk about here. So this is what this is. Uh, that was from Washing, Walking Stick. This is Militia Man. There is an existence of the Chapter Seven Charter of the United Nations that has not yet been resolved. It's still restricting the sovereignty at the international level. The pressure is on, and it looks like the United Nations is waving that flag to Iraq, reminding them that there is that component still. Marks, what do you think? Mark Z commented, gold is up in Iraq, meaning Iraq's gold reserves rose significantly. They are preparing to be unplugged from the SWIFT. To do that, they are going to need a new value. What do you think? Comment down below. Who's your favorite Intel person? Uh, Samson uh, chimes in with article, Plashart to Al Samari, the request to end the UNAMI mission will be presented to the Security Council as soon as possible. I, I broke that the other day. Um, from an, from a confidential source. I thank you guys. I've got lots of people who are sending me information now. Frank 26, uh, floating the dinar returns to the forefront. Will the central bank of Iraq resort to it? And what are its risks? According to Frank floating the dinar. Oh my goodness. They are talking to the Iraqi citizens about the monetary reform. Floating the dinar is what they're going to do. Um, Mountain Goat chimes in. The U.S. Treasury needs to recognize that Iraq still has tremendous value in the dinar as the country sits right now with its oil revenues and outpaces Kuwait in all aspects of the economy. So why is Kuwait, one Kuwaiti dinar equals 3.4 USD? Evidently that weren't raised lately. Uh, this was as of today. The IQD is being internationally suppressed now over 20 years already and that that is at the heart of the problem Iraq now faces. Oh, by the way. This is 24K and Energize. So that's what I'm drinking tonight so I can have a good dinner. I'm going to have all my basics about a half an hour before dinner's ready. It's in the oven now. It's going to take another 40 minutes, which allows me to do this. So this is my Energize is a great hydration drink when we've been in the sun. You can tell I got some color today because I was working with my horses. Now I got to ride them. My husband took the video. It was awesome. Without my trainer, it was awesome. But obviously I let my trainer know what happened and she was excited for me. And thank you again. Um, for sending me these earrings. I, I so love them. I so love them. I feel like, I, I don't know, I just love them. So now Mark Z chimes in with Vietnam business news. So I'm going to title this Iraqi Dinar Vietnam Dong because I know a lot of people hold the dong. Uh, Vietnam business news may 
12th of 24. They are talking about an increase in revenues and how well the country's doing. So guys, a lot of us are holding various foreign currencies. Please comment down below what kind of currencies you're holding. I'm holding a majority of them. If you're holding them, I'm holding them. I'm also holding the Zim bonds. I do know a little bit about that, which is that we got to wait and see what happens. I think Iraqi, I think this is my opinion, that Iraqi dinar is the key to unlocking all these values going up. Once this one's done, the rest will follow like dominoes. That's my opinion. What do you think? I also do not believe in lopping off the currency like some other people who scare people that their currency is not going to be worth anything. This is what I believe. And I think it's it's important for me to discuss this. One USD right now is around 131054. I didn't check it today. The IQD right now is 0. 0.00076 to one US dollar. What this is is simple math. You take the one USD, you divide it by this, you get the 0. 0.0076. So I think the 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 um the uh, deletion of the zeros is going to keep them here off the exchange rate. So it'll be 0. 0.76. So if it becomes 0. 0.76, this is what you can expect. If you just have one $25,000 note and it's 0. 0.76, that's worth $19,000. That would pay off some debt. What would $19,000 do for you? Please comment down below. Um, if, if it comes out at just 0. 0.76, that's very, very low, very, very conservative. They just delete the three zeros off from the exchange rate. A million dinar is worth 760000 So I'm saying, to appealing to everybody, shift your mindset now. Because if you're holding Iraqi dinar, you might as you can pretty soon take it to the bank. So guys, if you want my safe strategy, keys to a safe exchange, you'll see all the information pinned as the top comment below this video. I hope you will join me because I'm the only one who talks about this and explains it in such simple ways. And God told me we can expect triple. But the only way you can expect triple if you get my secret strategies for my clients uh if you get triple you know if you're doing my steps step one two and three it takes you through this process we're in step one right now before it's released so what if it comes out at this right i don't know what do you think it's going to come out at just let's let's play a game put down below what do you think the rate will come out at given that you just heard kuwait is three dollars and forty cents and we're a bigger country iraq is a bigger country has more reserves what do you think comment down below so guys i do the quickest summary on the net i think that was the best thing i could talk about today what do you think comment down below it's a good day it's a good day to have uh, it's a good week to have an exchange you still have time to prepare if you want god's uh wisdom and strategy so you can stay safe and you can get it score one for the kingdom you're going to want to look at my pinned comment down below i love you all with the love of jesus christ it's getting very exciting i hope you're excited please comment down below are you excited and, it, and just tell me how you're really feeling and i will i will respond to your messages no matter what they say unless you're just a hater right i don't respond to haters but also, uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about what somebody sent me, 15 different banks and credit unions that exchange foreign currency. And I got the list. So I'll see you tomorrow on the 11 o'clock Zoom. Talk to you later. Bye. Love you all. Bye.